In order to curb the spread of COVID-19 over the past year, Trace Together and Safe Entry have become everyday essentials to us Singaporeans. With just the tap of the Trace Together token, we are now able to collect data and conduct contact tracing. All of this would not be possible if not for Bluetooth. So let's get comfortable and take a trip back in time to find out more about the history of Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a wireless technology that uses wavelength to transmit information. It was first designed back in 1994 to replace the old RS-232 telecommunication cables, allowing for a wider range of devices to work together. One of its key features was low power usage, which made it suitable for use in smaller gadgets and devices, such as hands-free mobile headsets and Bluetooth phones like the Ericsson P39 back in the day. After its conception, Bluetooth was first seen in mobile phones and computers before expanding to laptops and printers soon after. But why is the technology called Bluetooth? Let me explain. Back in the 10th century, King Harald Gormson, the King of Denmark, was famous for two things. Firstly, he united Denmark and Norway in the year 958. And secondly, he had a dead tooth, which was dark blue in colour, earning him the nickname Bluetooth. So fast forward to 1996, when tech industry leaders Intel, Ericsson and Nokia had met to standardise the newest short-range radio technology, Jim Kardash from Intel had said, King Harold Bluetooth Gomson was famous for uniting Scandinavia just as we intend to unite the PC and cellular industries with a short-range wireless link. They had thus decided to use Bluetooth as a stand-in project name until the people from marketing could come up with something cooler and more official. But when the time to do so came around, the two nominated names, Personal Area Networking and Radio Wire, had issues that cropped up. PAN was already a term used throughout the internet and the trademark for Radio Wire couldn't be completed in time for the launch leaving Bluetooth the only viable option. In addition, the Bluetooth logo also pays homage to King Gomson by using the initials of HMB from the Nordic alphabet to form the name of Harold Bluetooth. So the next time you whip out your phones to check in at your favourite shops or listen to music on your wireless earbuds, remember that a Viking King was part of the inspiration behind this piece of ubiquitous technology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our series link below!